So today, Warner Brothers Discovery announced a ton of new streaming shows that are coming to their streaming platform, HBO Max. And other than the terrible rebranding they've decided to do by calling it Max instead of HBO Max, everything coming to the streaming service looks promising. You got a bunch of new original shows. You have a new prequel Game of Thrones show that's going to be hitting us, I believe, next year. And we were also given a sneak peek teaser look at the Penguin Show from Matt Reeves. I'm sure a lot of what we're gonna see is some behind the scenes shots, but still seems interesting. Let's see what it looks like. This, this is one of those moments. I'm loving the vibe already. <laughs> I'm not even it's two seconds in. What kind of life do I want? The world ain't built for guys oh, like us. Pittsburgh Lounge, cool. Love it. Bring it back. Take whatever we decide. It's ours. Man, he just looks so good. Right in. Try to push me out. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Uh, so we're gonna see a lot of the aftermath. The Batman saga, eh? If you step out of line, even once, I'll get you like a goddamn fish. So mafia boss like. I love the you Italian mean, vibe. The people say in my name of the streets after you're gone. Have it mean something. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the new king Pena got them. Nice. I love the way this looks. Honestly. I just think this is my type of vibe. I like the darker tones. I like the darker type of writing. I think that's just how I like my comic book content. I'm not gonna lie to you. When I match up this type of storytelling and vibe in comic book content compared to so many other comic book content we have today, which is a little more colorful and a little more poppy, I always find myself coming back to rewatch these types of comic book films films or shows, I don't often watch the other ones. And I don't want to jump the gun because I'm still keeping an open mind for James Gunn's DC Universe if it does actually end up panning out. But just in case, if there is a new DC vibe where it's a little more lighthearted, poppy, and colorful, I'm very happy we have this because this will be what I want to see. This is the vibe I want. But of course, I understand this isn't for everyone. I even understand if maybe some people are getting bored of these types of stories and these types of vibes. But for me, this is looking amazing, just as good as the movie itself. Like I said, when watching the trailer, this is going to heavily, of course, deal with the aftermath from the actual film. How long it's covering, I'm not sure. I'm sure there's a detail out there, I just don't know off the top of my head. I'm gonna say it'll probably cover over six months to a year past the film. Seeing a power vacuum, a power struggle that happens to pop up after the death of Falcone is going to be really cool because not only are you gonna have Penguin who's trying to move in and take over, but you're also gonna have a lot of other popular crime lords, crime bosses, and crime families within Gotham who are trying to fight for that power too, such as the Moronis. It was interesting to see Penguin in the first film kind of be like the lapdog to Falcone and now all of a sudden he's like a big man you know he's a tough guy owns Iceberg Lounge his boss is dead he's trying to take over how many people are gonna take him seriously how many people are actually gonna be scared of him I mean already in this trailer it showed a couple of scenes that would probably make people in this underworld fear Penguin and I think Matt Reeves of all people People is going to do a great job to take a character like Penguin that maybe sometimes you can look at him and say he's just a short, stubby, penguin-looking man that Batman rags on 24-7. And I think Matt Reeves is going to be able to change that perspective and maybe not be a force to be reckoned with. 
towards Batman, but maybe what he owns, the conglomerate of henchmen he has, pieces of Gotham, the districts that belong to him, will be something that Batman is going to have to maneuver and with caution in the future. It's not always about being the strongest, and I think Penguin is going to realize that in this show, but it is about how much power you have. And I think we're going to see him become quite powerful. Because if there's going to be multiple shows in this Batman saga, and the Batman movies itself will be a trilogy, maybe it's just three films, I'm sure the effects of what Penguin does, or Penguin himself, will be either felt or even simply just featured in the future of this content. I think everything Colin Farrell is bringing to this role as the Penguin is absolutely brilliant in every single way. The way he looks, which 100% goes to costume and makeup design, how they are making him look so different than Colin Farrell is amazing. But the way he talks, the way he smiles, the way he laughs, the way he walks, it's so Penguin. And even if it's not your comic book version of Penguin, it's certainly a version of Penguin that works so damn well. And you know what? If you love comic books and you like mafia films, or if you only like Batman and you like mafia, or if you're actually not even a fan of comic books and you like mafia, it does not matter. This is giving you a straight up Sopranos Batman type of a feel. It's like a perfect developed crossover. Now, will we see Batman? Man in this show? I do believe we will. It has been rumored that Robert Pattinson has been spotted in the same city and even around the same set as this Penguin show at the same time. Now, of course, even if we see Batman, I'm sure it will not be heavily about him in any way. It'll only be sporadic scenes that we may see him in. We may even see something about him on the news, on Gotham News Tonight or something like that. But I do expect we will see Pattinson in some sort of capacity. We might even start to see things where the media is covering Bruce Wayne. The fact that Bruce Wayne has started showing his face more often, and he's even smiling more, and he's playing the part of billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne, and some of the commentary that Penguin may have on a man like that. I think a lot of what's going on here has the potential of being really awesome and very interesting for the next movie. I know there's not much to talk about other than to simply speculate, but I gotta be honest with you, I'm a lot more hyped for this than I thought I was gonna be. I thought it was going to be, oh cool, nice little sneak peek, we'll wait for more. This actually got me super, super excited, and this has just become one of my top things I'm excited for for the foreseeable future. But anyways everyone, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this teaser and what you're expecting from this Penguin show, and just like usual, I will talk to you all very soon.